Okay, I'm going to review a little bit. We haven't done any actual code writing, and I don't know if we'll get any of that today, but I, I want to just backtrack, review a little bit, and then move forward again. Now, here is our main configuration. We made some changes in this file. Uh, one of the key ones I want to talk about is we enabled the, the G tool here so that we could create this module right here, this administration module. The other thing I want to point out here uh, is that we connected to a database. Now that database had to exist because when we created our uh, when we create our modules and our models, it needs to connect to the database. So I'm connected to the database. Now here's our main uh, page right here. This is uh, what comes up without us having programmed any code. And because we use the URL manager, I can just go to type in G and it brings up this code right here. Now, this is a tool that's that's built in and this module is enabled right here with uh, this entry right here in the main.php and you can see the password there is pass. Again, something I want to eliminate when I roll it out to the production site. Okay, Here I can, with the G tool, create models, modules. Remember we created the um, administration module. Now, just to review again, a module is not a model. You can see the only model we have are these built-in ones that are fake. They don't connect to any database. But we have this administration module here. This administration module will launch the page that will get executed um, on the administration, and it will load all of the models and components that are unique to this module. This module here has a default controller, and all it does is render the index view this default view here, um, very specifically named default after the default in front of the controller, very specific name, and this is the index view here, and this is what we see on that view. Okay, now all of that to say what we're going to do here is we're going to actually create a model that connects to the database. So let's minimize that, minimize that, we'll close this, close everything, Okay, and what we're, we're going to do is we're going to use this G tool to create a model. Again, different from a module. Remember, model view controller. A model is a connection to the database. So we're going to get to our model database here. Now it's asking for the table. If we go to our local host here and go to PHP My Admin, we're looking for that database to which we're going to connect, which is this Amazon one here, and we see this these tables. We're going to connect to this users table right here. And it says, what is the table name? Well, we know it's users. This is going to be the name of the module, capital U for, for, the, for the model. Now, here it's going to create the model, capital U, users. Okay, It found it. It connected. It's a C active record, which has a lot of uh, abilities there. But we'll get to that later. And we'll say, generate. Now if we go over to our code here and we look at our models, we see here that we have a new model here, a users. And all this users does is extends the C active record class and then sets up all these things here, some of which we will talk about later, but it's a default model. I haven't done any programming yet. Now not only do I want to create a model, but I want to create all of the abilities to create, read, update, and delete. And I'll do that by using this CRUD generator. And I had to have the model first. So it says, what is the model? Well, we know that it's capital U users. I'll preview and it says, these are all the files that I'm going to create. Uh, I'm not thrilled with some of the naming, but we'll get into that in just a second. So I'll say generate. You see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? Files. We'll generate them. Now we go over to our code and we see that we've got a new controller, users, and again very specifically named users in front of the word controller. We also know that if we look here there's a new folder called users under views that has all of those files we're talking about here. Now if we go to our website here and we go users because that users controller file exists very specifically, users control file, this will execute. 
So we don't have any users yet. In fact, what we want to do is, remember our module is a back office administration module. And that's really where we want to do things like uh, manage users, add them and whatnot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and put it into the module, administration module. Not only am I going to do that, but I'm going to take this users folder and put it under the views. Okay, so now I got default and users. Now if I refresh this, it'll say 404, I didn't find it. But if I go to administration, there it is right there. Now one of the first things that we're going to want to do is when we create our users is that we're going to want to uh, limit who has access to that. You see right here, um, uh, this allows all users to go to the index view. And that's what this is right here, is the index view. Okay? Now uh, what I want to do is I want to eliminate uh, who can use this users, but I've got to set up users, so it's kind of a catch-22. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up users and decide who can have access to the administration module, all of them, and also who can have access to this users. So these are all actions that we can take in the controller. View, we can create. So let's watch how this works here. You look down here and you can see that the path is users create. So it says go to the users controller, which is what this is, and go to the create button to the create here. Okay. Now, watch what happens when we click here. It asks me to log in and the reason is is because only people who have uh, authenticated can create and update. Mm -hmm. If we go back here and we say manage, again log in because manage is admin and delete you have to be actually logged in as an admin and then deny everything else so this is how it's controlling here this is key here because the commands we have are view which requires a parameter there for the module that you're trying to view or the record that you're trying to view create update delete our default index an admin. Now this also has a function for loading a model which you could do and some support for um, Ajax validation which we'll get into later. Okay so we really haven't done much we've created a new model users and you notice that I did not move the model. The model stays here at the base level. Not really necessary I could have put it in the administration module but I'm gonna leave all my models here at the base level and the only way to access those models is through controllers and my controller is in the admin level. So next time we're going to kind of get into a new module. We do the G module and the administration module and we're going to do a, another uh, component which is authentication and it just requires a little bit more explanation.